The Maykop culture scientific transliteration, Maykop, Russian, Maykop, Mai, K.P., c. 3700 BC to 3000 BC, was a major Bronze Age archaeological culture in the Western Caucasus region of southern Russia. It extends along the area from the Taman Peninsula at the Kerch Strait to near the modern border of Dagestan and southwards to the Kura River. The culture takes its name from a royal burial found in Maykop Kurgan in the Kuban River Valley. Territory In the south it borders the approximately contemporaneous Kura Araxes culture 3500—2200 BC, which extends into eastern Anatolia and apparently influenced it. To the north is the Yamna culture, including the Novotidorovka culture 3300—2700, which it overlaps in territorial extent. It is contemporaneous with the late Uruk period in Mesopotamia. The Kuban River is navigable for much of its length and provides an easy water passage via the Sea of Azov to the territory of the Yamna culture, along the Don and Donetsk river systems. The Maykop culture was thus well situated to exploit the trading possibilities with the central Ukraine area. New data revealed the similarity of artifacts from the Maykop culture with those found recently in the course of excavations of the ancient city of Tel Kazna in northern Syria, the construction of which dates back to 4000 BC. Radiocarbon dates for various monuments of the Maykop culture are from 3950 3650 3610 2980 CALBC, after the discovery of the Leila Tepa culture in the 1980s, some links were noted with the Maykop culture. The Leila Tepa culture is a culture of archaeological interest from the Chalcolithic era. Its population was distributed on the southern slopes of the Central Caucasus modern Azerbaijan, Agdam district, from 4350 until 4000 BC. Similar amphora burials in the South Caucasus are found in the Western Georgian Jar burial culture. The culture has also been linked to the North Ubaid period monuments, in particular, with the settlements in the eastern Anatolia region. The settlement is of a typical Western Asian variety, with the dwellings packed closely together and made of mud bricks with smoke outlets. It has been suggested that the Leila Tepa were the founders of the Maykop culture. An expedition to Syria by the Russian Academy of Sciences revealed the similarity of the Maykop and Leila Tepe artifacts with those found recently while excavating the ancient city of Tel Kazna I, from the 4th millennium BC. In 2010, nearly 200 Bronze Age sites were reported stretching over 60 miles from the Kuban River to Nalchik, at an altitude of between 4,620 feet and 7,920 feet. They were all visibly constructed according to the same architectural plan, with an oval courtyard in the center, and connected by roads. Culture Its inhumation practices were characteristically Indo-European, typically in a pit, sometimes stone-lined, topped with a kurgan or tumulus. Stone cairns replace kurgans in later interments. The Maykop Kurgan was extremely rich in gold and silver artifacts, unusual for the time. Art In the early 20th century, researchers established the existence of a local Maykop animal style in the artifacts found. This style was seen as the prototype for animal styles of later archaeological cultures. The Maykop animal style is more than a thousand years older than the Scythian, Sarmatian, and Celtic animal styles. Attributed to the Maykop culture are petroglyphs which have yet to be deciphered. Topic: <laughs> Horse breeding. The Maykop people lived sedentary lives, and horses formed a very low percentage of their livestock, which mostly consisted of pigs and cattle. Archaeologists have discovered a unique form of bronze cheek piece, which consists of a bronze rod with a twisted loop in the middle that threads through the nodes and connects to the bridle, halter strap, and headband. Notches and bumps on the edges of the cheek pieces were, apparently, to attach nose and under lip straps. Some of the earliest wagon wheels in the world are found in Maykop culture area. The two solid wooden wheels from the Kurgan of Starokorzunskaya in the Kuban region have been dated to the second half of the fourth millennium. Terrace agriculture 
The construction of artificial terrace complexes in the mountains is evidence of their sedentary living, high population density, and high levels of agricultural and technical skills. The terraces were built around the 4th millennium BC, and all subsequent cultures used them for agricultural purposes. The vast majority of pottery found on the terraces are from the Maykop period, the rest from the Scythian and Alan period. The Maykop terraces are among the most ancient in the world, but they are little studied. The longevity of the terraces more than 5, years allows us to consider their builders unsurpassed engineers and craftsmen. Recent discoveries Recent discoveries by archaeologist Alexei Rezepkin include in his view, the most ancient bronze sword on record, dating from the 2nd or 3rd century of the 4th millennium BC. It was found in a stone tomb near Novosvobodnaya, and is now on display in the Hermitage in St. Petersburg. It has a total length of 63 cm and a hilt length of 11 cm. The most ancient column the most ancient stringed instrument, resembling the modern Odagian Shachepshin, dating from the late 4th millennium BC, now also in the Hermitage Museum. Origins Pontic Steppe Its burial practices resemble the burial practices described in the Kurgan hypothesis of Maria Gimbutas, has been regarded by some as an Indo-European intrusion from the Pontic steppe into the Caucasus. However, according to J. P. Mallory, Where the evidence for barrows is found, it is precisely in regions which later demonstrate the presence of non-Indo-European populations. The culture has been described as, at the very least, a Kurganized. Local culture with strong ethnic and linguistic links to the descendants of the Proto-Indo-Europeans. It has been linked to the Lower Mikhailovka group and Kemi Oba culture, and more distantly, to the globular amphora and corded ware cultures, if only in an economic sense. Yet, according to Mallory, such a theory, it must be emphasized, is highly speculative and controversial although there is a recognition that this culture may be a product of at least two traditions, the local steppe tradition embraced in the Novosvobodna culture and foreign elements from south of the Caucasus which can be charted through imports in both regions. <laughs> Iranian origins According to Maria Ivanova the Mykop origins were on the Iranian plateau. Graves and settlements of the 5th millennium BC in North Caucasus attest to a material culture that was related to contemporaneous archaeological complexes in the northern and western Black Sea region. Yet it was replaced, suddenly as it seems, around the middle of the 4th millennium BC by a high culture whose origin is still quite unclear. This archaeological culture named after the great Mykop Kurgan showed innovations in all areas which have no local archetypes and which cannot be assigned to the tradition of the Balkan Anatolian Copper Age. The favored theory of Russian researchers is a migration from the south originating in the Syro-Anatolian area, which is often mentioned in connection with the so-called Uruk expansion. However, serious doubts have arisen about a connection between Mykop and the Syro-Anatolian region. The foreign objects in the North Caucasus reveal no connection to the upper reaches of the Euphrates and Tigris or to the floodplains of Mesopotamia, but rather seem to have ties to the Iranian plateau and to south-central Asia. Recent excavations in the southwest Caspian Sea region are enabling a new perspective about the interactions between the Orient and continental Europe. On the one hand, it is becoming gradually apparent that a gigantic area of interaction evolved already in the early 4th millennium BC which extended far beyond Mesopotamia, on the other hand, these findings relativize the traditional importance given to Mesopotamia, because innovations originating in Iran and Central Asia obviously spread throughout the Syro-Anatolian region independently thereof. <laughs> Azerbaijan. More recently, some very ancient kurgans have been discovered at Soyukbalak in Azerbaijan. These kurgans date to the beginning of the 4th millennium BC, and belong to Leyladeep culture. According to the excavators of these kurgans, there are some significant parallels between Soyukbulak kurgans and the Mykop kurgans. Discovery of Soyagbulak in 2004 and subsequent excavations provided substantial proof that the practice of Kurgan burial was well established in the South Caucasus during the late Enneolithic. 
The Laylateep culture tribes migrated to the north in the mid 4th millennium BC and played an important part in the rise of the Mykop culture of the North Caucasus. Topic: <laughs> List of researchers of the Mykop culture. Ebert M, 1921. Talgren A. M., 1926, 1929-1933 Child G., 1936 and 1952 Hankar F., 1937 Sheffer Wythe, 1948 Deshayas J., 1960 Piggott S., 1965 Formozov A. A., 1965 Topic. Sources Ivanova, Maria 2007. The Chronology of the Mykop Culture. In the North Caucasus, Changing Perspectives. Armenian Journal of Near Eastern Studies. 2, 7-39. J. P. Mallory. Mykop Culture. Encyclopedia of Indo-European Culture, Fitzroy Dearborn, 1997. R. M. Munkai of N. A. Merpert S. N. Amarov Tel Hasna I. Kultovo Administrativnij Center I. V. 3 Ties, Du and A. V. Severo Vostoknoj Sari. Izdatilstvo Paleograph. Moskva 2004. ISBN 5 89526 012 8. Footnotes <laughs>